hello hello i am back with another video and today i want to talk to the introverts i want to talk to those who are lacking their self-expression and i want to tell you what the issue is so you can help yourself that you can evolve to your higher self with flow and with ease and you ain't got to spend all your money thinking something crazy or wrong with you and you slightly retarded and you got a D D P whatever they call that crap. <laughs> ADD or whatever, right? There ain't nothing wrong with you. Here's the thing. Everything starts in here. It all comes from in here, baby. You could look outside of you, but it's all that inner being, that inner child. Like, right, you gotta go to the core. It's like we all onions and we got layers of ourselves and we gotta get to the core. There's so many layers that we gotta peel back to get to this core. So introverts, what's really happening at the core level is your inner being, your little girl, your little boy. It's saying, no one hears me. No one talks to me. Everybody ignores me. So I'm just going to stay to myself. And so as within, so without, right? And so now your outside experience is that you're a loner. Yeah, because life has to show you you. <laughs> On earth as it is in, he in heaven, life has to show you you. It's showing you that little girl and what she feels like right inside, right? She feels like nobody talks to her. Yeah, yeah, she, she, she really, she don't even trust nobody, right? She's so guarded, like, right? She, she don't want to go around the, the people because there's, oh, there's too many people. No, I'm scared. It's just me up in here. And so these people become like hermits. And, and I'm talking about my, my old self, like, right? Become hermits. We don't want to talk on the phone. We get so... <laughs> so buried inside of here that the mere thought of coming outside give us anxiety now. Now everybody's looking at us. Now we are sweating profusely just to speak in front of a panel or to, to talk to more than two people at a time. And our nerves get really, really bad when we in this state of being, right? This is how I discovered this here part of me. And this is why I wanna to talk to you about this here and why you really need to fix this part of yourself if you're shy and an introvert. It's not that you are broken. Let me not say fix. You want to balance this side of yourself because all things are about balance, God. You have to be in balance, God. You have to balance your introvertedness with your extrovertedness. It's okay to want to be inside and to yourself sometimes, but you have to be able to come outside sometimes, God, and experience yourself. Because in experiencing yourself, you're experiencing the totality of God. God is both introvert side of you and extrovert side of you. Masculine side of you and feminine side of you. Yin versus yang side of you. Because God is all, right? So but this is why I want to share with you is because... In the spiritual realm, <laughs> because your little girl or little boy is experiencing this dis-ease and disharmony, right? Because she feels like nobody talks to me. I, 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 I can't say anything here because I'll, I'll be too nervous. She feels like this, right? She feels this ease. Well, that this ease gonna have to show up in your physical reality because as within, so without. And so your physical body is gonna start experiencing some things. And I'll tell you what my physical body did when it was in this state of being. We're just going through state of being. I experienced thyroid issues, right? And I found out about this when I went to my guru that I met, who's no longer here in the physical reality, I went to him because I had 
thyroid issues, right? So I'm like looking, look, just give me some herbs. Let me clear this thing here out. You know, just, I want, I want the physical stuff. And he was like, you know, the first thing he said to me, actually, he said, ain't nothing wrong with your thyroid. It's your heart. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? No, no, no. Because the doctor had said, you know, that, you know, this is why my weight, you know, was fluctuating so much. And this is, this is why I was always tired. Because, yeah, you know, you're wrong, Mr. Guru, man. No, you're wrong. I have thyroid issues. Help me. Give me an herb to make this thing go away. He was like, no, baby, you balance your heart because love heals all. And so love has the power to heal all other chakra pools and energy in your body. So let's start with your heart, baby. What's going on with your inner child, baby? And I'm like, an inner child? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm wrong. Who are you talking about? The child? Dude, if you don't help me with this thyroid issue, I'm about to leave up out of here. Give me the herb. He's like, no, calm, calm down, baby. We got to get to the root of the problem. And this is what I want to share with you. The root of the problem is that inner girl is feeding this ease and this harmony. You got to learn how to love on her. You got to talk to her. <laughs> because if you don't talk to her, she ain't talking to you. And she ain't going to let you talk to nobody else because you are experiencing life through her. And you cannot leave her behind because that's a part of you. And so I used to get to a point where I would, I would want to say stuff, you know, like somebody even say something and, um, and I was so shy and I would want to say something, but it is be like, it would people be done walked away. <laughs> it's like, and then I would even so much so, cause your dreams are only expressions of what you're going through where you have this ease and this harmony. And then I would have these dreams that I was in pain or something and I was trying to scream out loud like I would be in pain or falling off a cliff or something and I was trying to scream for somebody to know that I needed help but my voice was not being heard. If that ever happened to you, that ain't nobody but your inner being. She trying to tell you, hey, 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 get up in here and talk to me. We got some things we need to sort out in here. <laughs> No, and you ain't, I'm not going to let you experience this thing called life without me. Now, you could fool around and just ignore me and not do this so-called, this is what they call the shadow work that nobody don't want to do. You could mess around and, and ignore the shadow work, but baby, I'm going to be with you for eons and eons and lifetimes and lifetimes. You could skip it this lifetime if you want to. You're just going to crash out and you're going to come back because you're going to learn the day. <laughs> you're going to learn the day to go to the core and Heal that part of yourself, God. Because you're the savior that you're looking for. Yeah, won't he do it? <laughs> yeah, the he is you. Yeah, won't, won't, won't you do it? Yeah. So, ironically enough, hindsight is twenty twenty. Now, I'm not conscious all the way when I met my guru so right so I I decide to listen to him like right and and so hindsight is 2020 so when I begin to release all that baggage that I had in my heart and learn how to love again lo and behold guess what I go to the doctor and the doctor's like oh well we did another thyroid test and everything looks good what have you been doing oh I see your weight is back in balance. What have you been doing? Oh. <laughs> yeah. When you heal that deepest part of yourself, then your physical reality has to change. It has to change. So that shyness becomes like a, a something that we say, and I still say it. I still say it in my healed version of myself. I say it with pride that I am uh, introvert. I say it with pride because that is the way that I met God. I don't say it because I'm out of bounds with myself and I can't talk to people because look at me right now. I'm talking to people. I could talk to people when I want to, when it feels good to me. I talk to whoever about anything and I could teach people how to come out of the introverted way. But sometimes I like to, you know, 
I like to not talk and be still and know that I'm God. But I'm in balance now, though, because I, I have my extroverted side and I have my introverted side. I'm in balance with my yin energy and my yang energy. And you know, in the biblical text, if you come from religion, you know this to be true because love heals all, baby. <laughs> That's what the Bible tells us. Love heals all, and that is the truth and nothing but the truth. And that truth will set you free because it goes like this here, this heart chakra, any chakra pool of energy, <laughs> That's out of balance because the heart has this electromagnetic form of energy about itself. It is powerful enough to open up or unclog any other chakra pool of energy. So oftentimes when people feel in dis-ease and disharmony, it's really like that chakra pool that's nearest to it. That's out of balance. But that's why I always tell people when they talk about chakra pools of energy, I say, look, look, look don't, don't, don't worry about no root chakra being away from your heart or, or your crown chakra being away, you know, one, um, two chakra pools away from your heart. Don't worry about that. Just heal the heart. <laughs> when they ask me, what chakra pool should I work on first? Should I work on the Christ conscious? No, no, no. You should work on that heart because the love heals all. Love gonna put you in in, in, a, in a proper balance. You ever you know you know this to be true because you ever seen somebody who was single and then they get into a relationship and they're experiencing love and now they're glowing and now they're happy and now they're not depressed anymore because what happened? Because love heals all. They were able to put their eyes or their mind on something that was vibrating on a love frequency and it walked them out of that rut. But it'd be temporary if you don't deal with the little, little girl because now they put their eyes on that guy or that girl. But if that guy or that girl leaves them, then they're back to depressed state again because guess what? They never went to the core. They just pulled back a layer of the onion. They didn't go to the core, the core of the heart, the core of the little girl that never felt like she was worthy. She never felt heard. She never felt like her voice really mattered. She never felt like she was even projecting her voice because you never talked to her. <laughs> you didn't talk to her. You left her abandoned and she ain't gonna leave you alone until you talk to her. Until you sit there and you tell her that it, 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 it's okay. Until you cry tears with her and tell her, but, but I'm here now. You did the best you could. I'm proud of you now. You got my attention now. Because she wants, he wants your attention. You know, just how you good with them men, you know? It's just how you good with them ladies. Oh, 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 that little boy and that little girl wants you to be good to her. Yeah, she wants you to put her first. She wants you to put her back on the throne again. Because if, if I be lifted up, she's saying this to you. If I be lifted up, I have the power to draw all things to you. But if you don't lift me up, you gonna learn today. Because I'm gonna keep on showing you that you did not lift me up. I'm gonna keep on showing you to different characters in your physical reality that you didn't lift me up. I'm gonna show you over and over that greater is he or it that is inside of you than it that is in the world. I'm gonna show you this thing here. Yeah, I'm gonna show you better than I could tell you because you're gonna run into me. You can run into me in your void of having friends because you ain't, you ain't never been my friend. You gonna run into me in your inability to speak your truth because how dare you go and speak your truth to your reflection out there when you ain't even speak a truth to me. You can run into people that don't, don't feel proud of you. They don't acknowledge the things that you doing. No, because you didn't acknowledge the things that I did. You didn't tell me that I did the best that I can when I was a little girl or I was a little boy. So guess what? Your throat chakra gonna be out of balance. Yep, yep. That's the signal that I'm gonna give you because you have this internal GPS system that's telling you when you are in alignment and when you are not. When you're not in alignment, I'm gonna give you a feeling and you ain't gonna like that feeling. And that was supposed to be your indication that you're not in alignment with your higher self, but you done ignored that feeling. And you've been looking for God in all the wrong places, but God and the kingdom of God has always been in you. And until you come back home, come back home to the bosom of God, you ain't going to be made whole again, baby. <laughs>
You can buy that car, you can buy that house, you can meditate if you want, you can do whatever you want, but until you get to the core of the little girl or the little boy inside of you, all of that stuff will be null and void in your experience. Because life happens through me. And if I'm torn on the inside, I, that's all I can give the world. And that's all the world going to give me. It's going to show me how torn it is. And I'm going to pay attention to the government and, and all of the, the, the taxes and things that they're doing. And all of the racism and things that's out there. And all of the killing and, and destruction that's out there. I'm going to pay attention to that. I'm going to show you that. Because guess what? You discriminating against your own self. You've been taxing me for a long, long, long time. You've been no good to me for a long time, and you you gonna feel this thing. And it's gonna feel hard until you become easy on me. Yeah, you gotta be easy on me. Yeah, because I'm you. And so you go within your inner being, your little girl, and I'll tell you how I did, because this is my past, it ain't really my right now business. I'll tell you how I did. Cause a little girl for me, and I, I I'm gonna do this only one time. Cause I don't I don't go in the past. I don't be writing old shitty stories over and over. Cause I've already rewrote my story in order for me to heal. But I'm gonna do this one time for you, and I'll upload this on my YouTube channel. So if you catch the tail end, don't ask me this here again. Cause I ain't saying it no more. So. I worked on me and I sat down with me and I cried with me and I thought about all of the shitty nights the shitty nights that I was crying out for my daddy because my real daddy wasn't in my life as a little girl I thought about all that happened after Mentally, after I didn't have my daddy, you know, those mental thoughts, those habitual thoughts that, well, maybe it was me. Since I'm the baby girl and, you know, he left right after, you know, my mom had me. And maybe he, he left because of me. Maybe, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not worthy. Maybe I'm not pretty enough. Maybe... Maybe he didn't want me. You know, when the weekend visits were no more, maybe, maybe that's what it was. Maybe he didn't want me. Maybe he just gave money for me to just go away because I had a whole lot of money when I was a little girl, but I didn't have that. So, so, so I created this story, right? This shitty, shitty story for my little girl version of me to deal with. And so when I learned that I had to go in and make her feel better in order to heal my heart, I sat down and I cried with her and I said, man, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You were just, you were just a little girl. I'm so sorry to put all of that, those negative thoughts that weight on you. You did the best you could and you were, and I started telling her the good things. You were a straight A student. You cleaned your room all the time. You knew how to have a good time. You knew how to make people laugh. You were so beautiful. Look at your pictures. I still have pictures of you. You had the cutest little smile, and the pretty, pretty brown eyes. Yeah. And you know how to how to be nice, and anybody would have wanted you to be around. You were the perfect child. Oh, I'm so sorry I put that burden on you. You did the best you could with what you knew at that time. That wasn't your fault. And I promise you, Daddy loves you. But guess what, baby? Daddy, Daddy was supposed to be a part of the story like that. Yeah, he was supposed to play out sto that story like that because when you became a woman, you were supposed to be able to inspire other people. Yeah, you were supposed to be able to inspire them. And how could you inspire them unless you hadn't been through some kind of hell yourself? Yeah, you consult with people who didn't have their daddy day in and day out. You consult with people now that were looking for love in all the wrong places and, and because you learned how to go within and, and, and find love within yourself, now you're in a better position to help them. 
<laughs> so not only am I here to help you, little girl, but I'm also here to help all of my reflections because I have a story to tell them. And what we're going to do today is we're going to rewrite this story. We're going to make this story as pretty as you want this story to be. And so in rewriting that story, let's go back. Let's go back. Remember when you used to go by daddy's house? Yeah, remember remember that time daddy used to take you to Godfather's Pizza? We're going to rewrite that story and we're going to make that story good for you. We're going to make that story feel good to you. Because to the core, how you feel really matters. So let's pretend. Let's, let's, let's play this game of imagination. Let's pretend that daddy ain't never stopped coming to see us. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pretend that he ain't never stopped. That not only did we have daddy money, but we had daddy. Let's imagine that daddy looked at us and we could see the gleam in daddy's eyes. The gleam in daddy's eyes that he was so proud of us too. Yeah, and, and when we were by daddy's house, remember when we used to go to sleep that one time, that one memory that we have of daddy going to sleep. Let's imagine that we always went to sleep on daddy just like that. Let's imagine that heartbeat to heartbeat. We, we fell in love with daddy even the more when he said, come here, baby. Come lay here on my chest. Let's imagine that a couple of times that daddy did kiss you, that daddy kissed you every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's imagine that time when you was walking to the school bus by yourself, that daddy was at the door. He was looking at you. He waited for you to get on that bus. Let's imagine that every time you had an accomplishment, daddy was there. No, no, you don't need to be an overachiever no more because daddy was right there, right, right there. You don't got nothing to prove because you have that love that you were missing out we done rewrote that story. And so now, now we're going to feel up on it. Now when we went to Godfather's Pizza, it wasn't the fact that we were going to Godfather's Pizza because it was the weekend for Daddy to visit. No, we went to Godfather's Pizza all the time because Daddy loved us. Yeah. Daddy gave us everything physically, mentally, emotionally, financially that we need, that we needed at that time, right? So that's going to be, that's going to be our new story. And we're going to replay that story over and over again because it's going to make us feel good. Yes. And if it makes us feel good within, then our physical reality has to change. Yeah, we got to keep on doing this. We can't give up. This is, this is going to be something me and you going to do together. Can, can you do this together with me? You got my undivided attention now. Oh, 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 I can't forget this. I can't forget this. I can't forget this here. Together, you and I, let's forgive daddy. I know, I know, I know that's a lot. I know that's a lot. I know, I know, I know that's a lot to be asking of you. You're just a little girl, but I'm an adult and I think, I think I got this thing figured out. Just listen to me, baby. Listen, let's forgive daddy. And let's love daddy simply because he was our father. Simply because we now, we now, we now are love. Daddy don't know us nothing. No, we don't. Daddy don't know us nothing. Because guess what? Guess what? We're amazing. Even without daddy. Everything turned out to be perfect. Even without daddy. Daddy don't know us nothing. Daddy was part of the story. Isn't that funny? We thought, we thought daddy was being mean with us. And we thought daddy, maybe God had made a mistake because daddy didn't know how to love. No, no, that ain't the case. Daddy was supposed to do that, baby. To get us our attention. Yeah, yeah, because out there, things happen to get our attention to bring us, bring us back together. Because it was never really about daddy. Because this is, all of this here, out here is illusion. This is an illusion, right? The only thing that's really real is you and I. We live on for eons and eons. We are connected to source energy, infinite intelligence, God. None of this exists. Least we give our attention to it. So that ain't even real. But if we're going to make them real, we're going to make them feel really, really, really good. We ain't going to make them be shitty daddy. Uh-uh. Why? Because our energy portals depend upon us being able to love again because we are love love heals all so this is how we get back to the core of 
loving and knowing ourselves. We go in ourselves, we do that work thought by thought by thought, and we don't revisit that story no more. Because now we successfully lifted ourselves up and oh, wait, wait, hold up, girl, I just been running my mouth. <laughs> Have you guys noticed that my throat chakra is now effectively communicating and speaking my truth? Have you all noticed that I know how to love again? <laughs> Have you all noticed there is a light about me? There's an energy. You might see me as a black lady in a physical reality. No, baby, but I am energy, frequency, and vibration. And I'm vibing at my highest state of being because I can speak my truth. And my truth now has set me free. Going on the days when my throat chakra is out of balance, experiencing dis ease and disharmony. No, because now I know how to love. And I can give love from my overflow of love. I'm not tilting my cup over to give you this here. No, you get my overflow. I can only give you what's in this here, <laughs> which is love, which is something for your journey, something for your eternal being. Because I could give you all the money in the world. Like that, it was giving me in the physical reality. But if I leave nothing for your soul, I have given you nothing. This is for your soul. For your inner being, for expansion for you. So there's no reason why you should be experiencing thyroid issues, baby. If you know this tool, this technique to go inside of self and heal yourself, you heal yourself. You shouldn't be experiencing a thing called disease. You should not be getting sick. You should not be tired. You should always know how to fuel up again on love again. But that's when you're ready to do the shadow work. That's when you're ready to talk to that little girl who's waiting to talk to you. And to also help you on my YouTube channel, there is a video that I did to help you get into the frequency of just talking to her it is a it's an audio version of me talking in the first couple of seconds get it set in the tone of your little girl little boy coming into the room to help you heal your your inner being and the sound is a tool to theta brainwave frequency so your subconscious mind will be wide open and it is guiding you to talk to her or him and then there's rain or sound in the back the perfect day to talk to her on a, or him on a rainy day. You can listen to that if you need help with this. But when you listen to this here, you hold your little girl and your little boy. You cry that last tear. And then you get up and you forgive that person that's deeply rooted inside of that. That, that is the reason why you having stumbling blocks. You forgive that person and you learn how to love again, God. Because it is important for you to learn this balance of your introvert ways to your extrovert ways and bringing a balance together with them both and learning. Um, comments and then I'm about to go and work out. I say, tell it to us to go in. Hey, Chosen Me. Hey, Nubian. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Sam. I needed you so much. I'm so happy you were here, Sam. Perfect. I did the same too with my dad yeah this is so familiar yeah such the truth yeah you really attract people just like that's vibing with you that's on your same frequency so to be so to speak that's why i be so familiar yeah 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 thank you for your transparency love you yeah love you back hey brown sugar right there wow oh yeah this is deep he was and is human yeah definitely attention is on me yes that's what it need to be on you, you know that song, and you could you could you could use songs to help you with this here. They have a song I don't even know who sing it, but I know this chorus of it. They say, "Can you focus on me, baby? Can you focus?" Yes. And every time I hear that song, I'm like, "Hell yeah, I can focus on me." I don't know. I guess they're talking about a man or whatever. But you could use music to bring it back to you. Can you focus on me? Cause you're all that exists, baby. Baby, can you focus? Your ability to focus in this journey is everything. Focus on me. So many people, they, they, do, they do like, even in the family, they'll have people that's always trying, to, oh, I just want to get the family together. I want to do this. I want to do this for this one, and I want to do this for that one. 
Baby, can you focus on me? That be the ones that be needing this kind of thing the most. Can you focus on me? That's what your inner being is saying. But we've been taught, no, 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 give to others. Do this here for others. No, no, you're not a team player. You're not just, girl, life don't happen with them people. Life happened with you. Can you focus on me? You better learn how to focus on me. Because <laughs> me is the most important thing here. Yeah. Let's see, shadow work. Yeah, love again. Love heals all, baby. We never stop loving. Yeah, just had to reconnect. Yeah, you reconnect back to yourself, back to you. <laughs> I should speak my truth. Yeah, money, story of love and energy. Facts, all I needed is love. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, you was recently diagnosed with hypothyroidism. If you don't get that heart chakra and bust it wide open, you be over there dancing and stuff, you better bring that energy into you. And that's going to heal you. That's it. That's the key. The doctors even know this to be true because they tell you, they ask you, on a scale of zero to ten, how do you feel? Which smiley face or frowning crybaby face represents how you feel? What that face is saying is, how's that little girl, little boy is feeling up in there? Hmm? Or I'm gonna have to give you all kind of little rocks, aka pills, to give you the illusion that everything is okay. I'll give you a little substitute pill to make it seem like everything in here is okay. This would be a little temporary fix for you. <laughs> That's all I can do is give you a temporary fix as your doctor. I'm gonna need you to go in there and sort out how you're feeling. I can even give you an antidepressant to give you illusion to make you feel like you're on cloud nine when you're in la-la land and ignore everything that's going on in here even more. You could ignore the hell out of your girl. Ignore the hell out of your little boy. <laughs> oh, oh, you could go and get on drugs. You could smoke marijuana. You can do any of them. I think they call it opi opi opioids or whatever they call it. You can do crack if you want to. You can drink alcohol. You can take sleeping pills. You can even do Tylenol PM. But guess what? Guess what? When your high is gone, <laughs> you gonna feel that little girl, little boy all over again. Yeah, because he ain't gonna go away. Mm -mm. He ain't gonna go away until you save yourself. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. This is a good one. For those of you who think you need love out there, the twin flame that's soulmate. Na 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 boo boo, you can't get the twin until you become balanced with your yin and yang energy. Oh, your twin over there. And life might even allow you because you take so long or you being so stiff necked and so hard headed. My, life might even allow you to meet them. And you'll know that they're there. You know? <laughs> You feel like you're looking in the mirror at yourself, like, oh my God, you're, you're me. But guess what, guess what? Na 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 boo boo. You can't have the twin until you do the shadow work. Yep. That's what your little girl and your little boy are gonna say inside of you. You ain't getting nothing until you deal with me. Because you've been ignoring me for a long, long, long time. So that's why, that's why in the dynamic of the twin relationship, they got that so-called runner. And the so-called chaser, yeah, I'm going to make him run completely out of your life. Oh, but wait, I'm going to let you experience that kind of love, though, because you ain't never experienced that kind of love, because you ain't never even gave me that kind of love. I'm going to let you experience it, and it's going to be the best. Oh, yeah, it's going to be the best. But you ain't going to be ready, because you ain't getting me ready. And so now you're going to be experiencing life without your twin. Na 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 boo boo. You got to do your shadow work. That's what your little girl and your little boy is saying to you. <laughs> It said, I gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, I've been manifesting this from you. Thank you. I needed it. Yeah, check out that video too that I was talking about. I think it's, it's titled, it's entitled Heating the Little Boy Inside of You on my YouTube channel. So you will scroll down underneath my video feeds and you're going to see the, the, the thumbnail on that particular video is a little black boy and a little black girl. They look like little African children, like, like, like right outside. 
and that's the thumbnail of that particular video if you want to do this by yourself do it like at night like when you have time when you're in your secret closet this is something that i offer to my people that i do conversations with when you're in your bedroom or whatever where you could cry your tears and know that this is the last tears that you can cry with your little girl and your little boy it's almost like you're saying sorry i'm sorry i've been ignoring you let's be friends now i see now that you all let i got i see now that you're the one that wakes up with me every day no matter what yeah even with mommy and daddy my best friend and my lover has to go to work or not be there you're the one that i'm alone with and i want to make sure that everything all right with us and so you you build that relationship and then you don't forget about that person no more after you cry them tears you didn't said sorry you didn't forgave the other person that may have wronged you and the little version of yourself and then you move on and then day by day you talk to it like it's your imaginary friend how do we feel today what do we want to do today to make us feel better you want to go to the beach you want to go to the water park you know you want to go out right out in the mountains of sedona do you want to meditate do you want to sleep in a little late what do you want to do tell me and we can do it because i'm your best friend we're best friends forever and i've learned this technique and and now that i know if i lift myself up then i can get all the desires of my heart and it'll allow me to be in balance yeah hell yeah i want to be in balance with you hell yeah <laughs> so yeah that's beautiful. Let's see. Yes, balance. Hey, man, you already know you was up in here. Balance them both. Yes, Sam, yeah, I mean, balance both of them. Ooh, them comments jumped up. Let's see. Um, yes, music helped me focus. Yeah, focus by her. Yes, that's who it is. Yes, that's that song. So when y'all listen to that song, it's like, yeah, hell yeah, I can focus on me. I can in the whole song. I don't know what the lady heard talking, who she talking about, the man or whatever. But to me, she's talking about me. Hell yeah, I can focus on me. Yeah, I like that idea. I'm on the line because I started doing my shadow work. Yes, teen. Yeah, 10, I'm sorry, 10. Do that shadow work. People ignore that thing, but it's so important in a journey. Exactly, I'm just learning this at 47. Mm -hmm. It ain't really matters. And so we, we, our little girl, you know how like women, this is a good example where you can see what other people didn't do. They shadow work, not to judge nobody, but you, but I, I'm a seer and I, and I breathe energy, so I see this. And so, women are getting mad over the craziest things, like sometimes. And we like, you call it attitude, so to speak, right? That ain't nothing but the little girl inside of them that ain't nobody, you know, dealt with, right? She didn't deal with, right? right? She just, I've, I've experienced this. I've been this woman before. I've experienced this. You know how, like, when it's like, somebody got you, what's wrong? Nothing. And they keep asking you, so to speak, like, you just get mad for nothing, you know? I told you nothing, like you're pissing me off because you keep asking me that. But no, baby, why, if, if, if nothing was wrong, why you got mad? At least something deeply rooted in there that is wrong. So when you start to get mad for no reason and you have this so-called attitude issue, that's that little girl up in there pop like, <clears throat> are you just walking around wishing somebody would? <clears throat> That's what that little girl is doing inside of you. Mm. So you got to have that face. Your face have to be her face. <laughs> As within, so without. So she's trying to let the world, God damn it. Nobody, she's trying to let the world know it. Nobody will never come up in here to see about me. So I'm going to make her look shitty all the time and be in a bad mood. <sighs> That's what that little girl saying. Y'all got to get up in there and take care of that girl. She catching temple tantrums and stuff. All at Walmart. While it now rolling over the floor. Cause ain't nobody gave her attention. Nobody ain't never love her or him. Yeah, and then it is for men too. Cause men, they, 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 they try to run through women looking for love through the vagina in all the wrong places. And they try to beat it out the frame and, and, try, to, and try to run game. When, when they don't know they say that, like what? Cause if you, if you lifted up yourself, you wouldn't be running through. You call that testosterone if you want to. Your ace is out of balance with yourself. That little boy and you just wilding out. Just like the over sexual woman. Because everything is about a healthy balance. Ain't nothing wrong with, with, with having different partners if that's what you choose. But knowing yourself and be in balance with yourself in a healthy manner or position is very important so it don't overrule you. Too much of anything ain't good for you. 
So then it, then you begin to attract dis-ease doing those type of things, STDs doing those type of things. Because your body got to send you a signal that way. Hold up. You, you out of balance right here. You out of balance right here. What is this all about? Then you get the prostate issue, though, the ovary, the ovarian cancer type issue. Oh, wait, hold up. This here, this here been out of balance for a long time. That sacral chakra. Wait, 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 wait. What? What are we trying to prove here? So this is a, let's go to the heart. Let's go to the heart. Why are we overstimulating? Why are we overworking that little girl, little boy? What, what, what is this little girl, little boy saying? <laughs> yeah, it's all about that heart. When the most high is gone, I'm still going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's exactly like that too. Yep, yep. When you get back to you, you don't even want anything outside of yourself. You really don't. I, I said that, I, put, I typed that rather on one of my videos. You don't really be wanting, because you be so good. You fill up so much on you that it's like, wait, hold up. I've got everything that I need. Or if, if you get you evolve in a place where if you was in a so-called relationship, which you really don't like getting attached to those things no more, but if you was in a so-called relationship that so-called ended, you'd be like, okay, I look forward to whatever we're gonna fly through next. It's almost like just birds. I love watching birds, y'all. It's almost like birds. Birds are so, I admire birds so much because they're so free. They don't have any attachments. They just come and go as they please. And so you you begin to be like that. You just become this free, boundless being in a boundless universe that you could be, do, or have anything. And that things flow to you when it is their time, when it is their season, and you understand the seasons or the law of rhythm in life, and you just embrace it. And, they, and you don't have no attachment. You can say, oh, baby, I look forward to what's coming true here next. Because I'm whole already. <laughs> Your absence is not going to penetrate me. God I'm healed the daddy issues. I became whole with my yin and yang, my feminine and masculine, my extrovert versus introvert. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful when you get there and people be people be like, oh, 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 she's lying. You're okay, based upon your perception, she's lying because they have two types of people that's okay with being alone. The one that's lying and the one that tapped into something that yourself have never reached before, baby. Yeah, we got they got two of us. They do. <laughs> Choose me you wisely which one I am or which one you will be, you know? Yeah. Yes. That's the only time I'm I'm mad okay when it is dark outside and oh, okay and dark on the inside. Okay, amazing. Let's see, let's see, right. I had a crazy dream last night. Do you do dream interpretations? Yes, I do dreamy. Oh look at that name. Dreamy had a crazy dream. Do you do um lucid dreaming? That's why you asked me that. But yes, I do interpret um dreams. Amazing. Let's see. Yes, okay. That is the truth. You sure enough know what to say. No balance. Yeah, facts. I'm evolving to that place. Yeah, we all are free to love me unconditionally. Yeah, definitely. And that's really what it's all about, to experience your love. Yes, very lucid dreaming. Yes, yes, I do too. And it's really what it is all about, experiencing your love. That's what you came for to do. You think it's, your, it's other people's love, but it's you opening up to the idea to unconditionally love other people and so you're feeling your love it's all about you this experience is all you god because you all exist that all exists and everything outside of you is just an, a reflection of your thoughts you're thinking those things up and so when you get comfortable with that when you be accountable with that knowing you always go in for whatever it is that you're wanting you always so funny you say that. Yeah, I know. Huh? <laughs> I was trying to say that's when I meditate when it's dark. Out. Oh, that's when I meditate when it's dark outside. Yeah, that's a good. Okay, I see. The words was kind of scrambled up at first. I get it now. Yeah, it is a um, good place. Or just or closing your eyes if you can't go outside. Because we got out here, we got scorpions and stuff. I be going out there to meditate, but they got scorpions. You know, I'm in the desert now. And I be like peeking. <laughs> I'll be peeking because I ain't never saw a scorpion before and the whales and all this. I'm from New Orleans, but we got a lot of weird insects out here. So I meditate short 
outside, but I do my long meditations inside. Be like, mm -mm, them. even though it would be me creating them damn things uh, for my thought of it, giving my attention to it. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I gave my attention to the A's and I come on inside. <laughs> Because I don't want to experience them in my reality. I already know I'm a powerful manifester. And me just thinking them up. I'm pretty sure I'm going to see them one day. But anyway, I'm about to get up out of here. It was good giving y'all free consultation. But I have orders to ship out. And I have things to do. And I'm about to go to the gym as well. So if you want to support me, check out my website. And support my product. Hey, I have some real good deodorant, y'all. It is made out of dehydrated key lime peel powder. And it really, really works. It's organic. It is not any harmful ingredients. Just, you know, no preservatives and all that. I have a one ounce and a two ounce bottle on my website. I sell shampoo. I sell detoxes. Things you can do in the physical reality to ex stop experiencing the physical symptoms. Just like the doctor. The irritable bowel syndromes. The, um... Uh, old fecal matter on the large and small intestines clean out your liver and all of this and that but those feelings if you want to get to the core of it you will do your shadow work too so how about doing your spiritual shadow work and maybe doing something in the physical to help you and make sure you're in balance god as within so without take care of your avatar self but most importantly take care of that inner being that little girl little boy that lives on with you for lifetime and lifetime and that is only here to remember who he or she is to evolve back to god you're not here to be a clerk. You're not here to be a garbage man. You're not here to be a wife. You're not here to be a daughter. You're here to remember that you're God. Be blessed, babe. This video was from my heart to yours. Thank you, um, Tin. I appreciate you. Y'all have a good day. Okay, bye.